What's up everybody, I'm Logan from Sleepopolis and in this video I'll be reviewing the Simmons Foam Mattress. Now throughout the video I'm going to tell you what the mattress is made of, run a few tests on it and tell you who should or shouldn't buy it. But if at any point you have any questions, please feel free to leave a note below. For right now let's jump in and talk about what this bed feels like. And when talking about the feel of a mattress, the first thing I like to talk about is how firm it is. I usually give it a scale of one to 10, with 10 being the firmest. And I would put this mattress here, the Simmons Foam, about six and a half or seven out of 10. Uh, that's when I'm sprawled out on my back with my weight evenly distributed. Here you can see I am kind of uh, concentrating my weight in one area and I am sinking pretty deep into this mattress. It's got a low profile, so you're gonna cut through those comfort foams on top pretty quickly. Uh, I was actually pretty surprised when I was on my back that there was pretty good support here. Uh, you do sink into the kind of quilted top of the cover a little bit for a little bit of pressure relief, but again, uh, you know, those layers of foam on top are pretty thin, so you are gonna push through those to the support layers pretty quickly. If you are someone who spends most of the night on your back, uh, I think you're gonna be okay here uh, on the uh, Simmons All Foam mattress. Now, rolling around, when I move onto my side, uh, this is where I'm really wondering what my shoulders feel like. You know, if you have a mattress that's too firm, you're gonna get a jammed up feeling. Uh, it's gonna cause shoulder pain uh, over, over time. Uh, I do think that the comfort foams here on the Simmons uh, foam mattress are a little bit too thin for really strict side sleepers, people who really are looking for uh, more of a plush feeling. You're not gonna get a very plush feeling out of this mattress, it's a little bit firmer than that. Uh, so if you are someone who's you know interested in uh, getting this mattress, but you're a really strict side sleeper, you're probably gonna need to put something like a, a foam topper on top of it as well, something like that. Uh, now rolling onto my stomach, this is where I'm looking, what are my hips doing? Uh, I usually recommend really firm mattresses to stomach sleepers. Uh, I don't think that this mattress has the support level needed for really strict stomach sleepers. I felt my hips sinking in the mattress over time, it's gonna cause some aches and pains in the lower back, uh, so that could become an issue. Uh, again, uh, you know, this is, a bit of a lower profile, straightforward, kind of an affordable value mattress buy here. Uh, so if you are someone who needs uh, really particular, uh, you know, you have really specific sleep uh, preferences or needs, this might not be the choice for you. Uh, you know, if you are someone who's a bit on the heavier side, I don't think this is gonna have the support level that you need either. Uh, so again, if you're someone who's looking for kind of a value mattress, you spend most of the night on your back, you're gonna be he happy here with the Simmons All Foam, but if you're a strict side sleeper, you'll probably need a plush or feel, stomach sleeper, or heavier person, you're probably gonna want something with a little bit firmer support. Now instead of just taking my word on the feel of the Simmons foam mattress, I like to run a few tests on all the beds that I review so you get a more objective look at what's going on. Uh, now the first test up is a pressure map test, and I basically just put a pressure map down on top of the mattress, lie down in a few positions, and you see the results next to me ranging from blue for low pressure to red for high pressure. Now my back, my weight's evenly distributed, and you can see it's blue across the board. Uh, you know, that's what I was expecting with my weight evenly distributed like that. Uh, it's a good sign here, and I did feel myself sinking a little bit into the kind of quilted cover here on the Simmons foam mattress. Uh, so that's a good sign for the back sleepers out there. Now rolling onto my side, you can see that it does go up into the uh, green or light green, almost yellow range there at the shoulders. If you're someone who goes backside throughout the night, you might be okay here, uh, kind of a thing. If you're a little bit lighter than I am, you might be okay here. I think if you are a really strict side sleeper, someone who might have shoulder pain from firm mattress, mattresses before, uh, that might become an issue over time here uh, as you are going to push through those uh, thinner comfort layers uh, right on top pretty quickly. Uh, now rolling onto my stomach, my weight's again evenly distributed and it's blue across the board. I don't really think that tells the whole story. I don't think that this mattress has the uh, firm support that strict stomach sleepers are really going to be looking for. The next test up is the bounce test, and basically this is to check to see how much mobility a mattress provides. You know, if you roll around during the middle of the night, are you gonna feel stuck in the mattress as you're adjusting positions? Uh, you know, there's really not a lot of bounce here. That's not really surprising out of an all foam, you know, memory foam mattress like we're testing here today. Uh, I did feel pretty on top of the mattress just because the comfort foams, again, are pretty thin, so you're not gonna sink too deep in, uh, but there's not a lot of spring or uh, bounce to the mattress. If you are interested in a more of a bouncy option from Simmons, you can check out the Simmons Hybrid mattress. Next test up is the motion transfer test. And basically this is to see if you share your bed with a partner, are you going to feel it on your side of the mattress when they're rolling around or adjusting their position in the middle of the night? Now to test that, I drop a 10 pound steel ball from heights of four, eight, and 12 inches to simulate that motion on the other side of the mattress. Then I put a seismometer down where you might be sleeping to see how much disturbance is transferred with each of those drops. And I gotta say, I was really impressed with the Simmons foam mattress on this test. It did a really good job of tamping down on that disturbance transfer, you know, the memory foam and the comfort layer, the quilted cover, uh, does a really good job of isolating that motion transfer. So uh, this is actually a really nice benefit of the Simmons foam mattress. And last but not least is the edge support test. Basically, are you going to be able to sleep 
all the way to the end of the bed without worrying about collapsing it. Uh, you know, a mattress with a strong edge is nice because it can allow you to get a little bit more sleeping space on the mattress, make the mattress feel a little bit bigger. Uh, and I actually thought that the edge support here on the Simmons foam was pretty good when compared to other uh, foam mattresses, memory foam comfort layers, things like that. Again, it is a little bit of a thin uh, memory foam layer on top, so you don't have to worry about pushing through that too much. Uh, and I thought the poly foam support over at the edge did a pretty good job of standing up when I was sleeping towards the end of the bed. Now to give you a better idea of where the feel of the Simmons foam mattress comes from, I've opened up the cover so you can see the materials used inside of it. Uh, first up, I do want to point out that the cover is uh, kind of a uh, quilted cover, so it's got a little bit of foam in there already to give you some pressure relief right off the bat. Now underneath that, you can see that there are three layers of foam in the construction of the Simmons foam mattress. It's a really straightforward, kind of no frills design. We have the comfort layer here is memory foam. You can see that slow responsive pressure there. That's gonna give you that kind of contouring feeling, that glove fit around your body as you sink into it. Uh, memory foam is generally really good for pressure relief. Uh, now below that, we have a polyurethane or poly foam layer here. Uh, this is kind of a transition layer. It's a bit firmer than the memory foam on top. It's got a quicker responsive pressure there, so you're not gonna feel stuck in there. Um, also, it's a, because it's a little bit firmer, it's doing a nice job of transitioning you from the really soft foam that's quilted in the cover, the memory foam, the comfort layer, into the uh, high density poly foam base. Now this is the support level of the mattress, uh, and this is what kind of gives the mattress its shape. Now I wanna go over which Simmons mattress is the best. Now Simmons makes two versions of their bed in the box mattress. And while we've been discussing the all foam version up until now, I did want to take a second to discuss their hybrid version to help you decide which Simmons mattress is the best for you. Now first, you might be wondering what is a hybrid mattress? Basically, it's a mattress that uses a combination of foam for comfort and a layer of coils for support. Now, a lot of companies that sell bed in a box mattresses are now offering hybrid options because they offer a bit more bounce than their all foam counterparts can provide. The Simmons Hybrid has a firm feel that I like for back sleepers. And like the Simmons foam mattress, the Simmons Hybrid probably won't be the best option for folks looking for a ton of pressure relief, but it does come in at a really affordable price, so it could be a good choice for the people buying for a college apartment or upgrading their teenager's bedroom with a new mattress. Now, this is just a little bit of information, but if you want the full rundown, you can check out my full video review linked below or Google Sleepopolis Simmons Hybrid Review for more. Now here at Sleepopolis, we do get a lot of questions that aren't covered by our normal review process. So I wanna cover a few of the most frequently asked here. Uh, first up is what is the best foam for a mattress? That's a really interesting question because it does kind of depend. Uh, now the common foams we see in a lot of bend box mattresses include uh, polyurethane or poly foam, uh, memory foam, and then latex foam as well. Uh, here with the Simmons foam mattress, we're looking at a memory foam mattress and memory foam is great at uh, pressure relief, allowing you to sink into the mattress contouring to your body. Uh, so in general, if you are someone who has issues with uh, joint pain, memory foam is probably going to be the best choice for you. Next up, how long will a Simmons mattress last? And this mattress does come with a 10 year warranty. Uh, it is a little tough to say how long an individual mattress will last because there are a lot of variables, including uh, you know how heavy the person is, do you share your mattress with a partner, what position do you sleep in, and also what are you supporting the mattress on? Is it a box spring, is it a slatted bed frame, is it the floor? Uh, so all those variables go into how long a mattress will stand up. Uh, I would say you're gonna wanna reassess your mattress after about three years deciding whether it's time to either uh, you know, get a better support under it or a new mattress altogether. Last but not least, can you flip the Simmons foam mattress? And the answer is you're not gonna wanna do that. The way that this mattress is designed is that the firmer support layers are on the bottom with these softer comfort foams on top. Uh, so if you are gonna flip it, you're gonna end up sleeping on the really firm uh, high density poly foam that's at the base of it. Uh, so if you are worried about kind of uh, wearing out your mattress, you wanna make sure that you extend the life of it a little bit longer, you're gonna wanna rotate it 180 degrees every six months. And before I end the review, I do wanna give you my pros and cons for the Simmons Foam Mattress. First step, reasons I think it would be a good mattress for you is if you're looking for an affordable mattress or value buy, it comes in at a really inexpensive price point. So if you're just looking for a nice inexpensive mattress, this could be a good choice for you. Uh, I would also say it's a good option for maybe a college dorm or a college apartment, something like that, uh, as a nice kind of uh, upgrade from the dorm mattress into more of a, uh, a real full mattress that you're looking for.
Now some of my cons or a Simmons foam mattress complaints include that it is not firm enough or doesn't have enough support for heavy people. If you are in that kind of 250 plus pound range, you're gonna push right through these comfort foams. I don't think this is gonna be a good choice for you. Uh, also, I would say it, even though it is a memory foam mattress, it doesn't really have the pressure relief I would look for if someone is suffering from uh, you know, pre-existing joint pain or something like that. So if you already have issues with uh, shoulder pain, hip pressure, something like that, uh, this isn't gonna be the option for you. Now, if you are gonna buy a Simmons foam mattress, I do wanna cover a few of their policies. First up, there is a 100 night trial period, so you can have it in your home for just over three months, deciding whether you wanna keep it, send it back. Uh, this mattress will ship for free. It will arrive compressed in a box, so you're gonna to wanna to let it decompress for a few hours or even overnight before you sleep on it. So you the full support and feel of the mattress when you first try it. Uh, also, this mattress does come with a 10 year warranty. So that's it for my review of the Simmons foam mattress. If there's anything I didn't cover, just leave a comment below. I know if you are interested in learning more about the Simmons hybrid mattress or checking out the full review of the Simmons foam, you can Google Sleepopolis Simmons mattress review to learn more. Also be sure to follow us on social media so you don't miss any of our new reviews or giveaway announcements and head to Sleepopolis for all of your sleep needs.